One of the known things about Sukkot is that we sit in the Sukkah to remember the Sukkot that Hashem made for us on the way out of Egypt. Our sages even discuss what kind of Sukkot were they. Real Sukkot that we made or clouds showing the divine presence that Hashem gave us. Now the question is maybe we should ask not what were the Sukkot but who cares? Why do we care about Sukkot? I can understand celebrating Pesach, leaving Egypt. If we wouldn't have left Egypt, we would still be slaves. So celebrate Pesach. I can understand celebrating Shavuot, receiving the, the Torah. We learn Torah every day, so for sure it affects us and influences us. But how do the Sukkot, those hats of 3,000 years ago, how do they influence us today? To answer that and understand the essence of Sukkot, we need to go to a few of the laws, the halachot of Sukkot, and the reason of it. The Torah says, Basukot teshvu shivat yamim. The translation can be, sit in the Sukkah for seven days. How do we know that the word teshvu means live in the Sukkah? Eat, sleep, drink, talk. The Yerushalmi links between Sukkot and the land of Israel, where also it says, Vishavtemba, sit in the land. And the same word, Yeshiva, to sit, actually means live. So Sukkot is very much connected to the land of Israel. Another halacha we have is about the height of the Sukkah. The minimal height of the Sukkah is ten tfachim, ten hand breath. How do we learn this, this measurement? Our sages learn it from the holiest place we have, Kodesh HaKodeshim, or from the Aaron and the Kovim, the Ark, and those angels on the Ark. The distance or the height between the Ark and the wings of the angels were, were ten tfachim. And the Torah uses the word which reminds Sukkah, or Schach, Sochechim Bekanfehem, the, the wings were shading the, the holy Ark. The same when Shlomo HaMelech builds a temple, he also had those big kruvim, and also there we find the same language of Sukkah and Schach. Our sages understood there's a big connection between a Sukkah and the holiest place we have. On the way out of Egypt, the nation said, we are on the way. How do we feel that we can be there? How do we feel the essence of the land of Israel? How do we feel the essence of the holiest place we have? And Hashem said to them, You want to, to be connected to Israel? You want to feel the holiness? I'll give you Sukkot. I'll give you a place where you can feel the land of Israel. It will remind you of the land of Israel. You will feel the holiness. It will fill you up with holiness. And that we have today too. Hashem gives us this opportunity to go out of our house and try to connect as much as we can to the land of Israel and to the holiest place we have, to Kodesh HaKodeshim. For seven days, we leave everything like we left Egypt and we start our journey, our journey to Israel, our journey to holiness. Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach.